Hi everyone, welcome back. And in this video, let's just go ahead and take a look at what is a droplet because that is the first thing you see on your screen when you log in into DigitalOcean. It says you get started with a droplet. Now, the thing with internet is that when you type a site, let's say google.com, what happens is that you visit google.com but your computer, your operating system actually has to resolve this google.com into something known as an IP address, right? And you can actually get the IP address you visited if you go to the networks tab inside your console and uh, go to the dock, click on google.com and you're gonna see that this is basically the IP address at which your computer requested the resource 172.217.167.228. Now this is one of the many IP address Google uses for its main domain google.com, right? You just happened to fetch this fetch from this IP address because the DNS resolver told you that google.com is this IP address. Anyway, the point is that this IP address right here which you see is associated with some computer sitting somewhere on the planet and uh, this is the IP address of that computer which responded you with this content, right? So you see starting off with doc type html html item scope all this all this thing right so this is the content this is this whole text is what makes you see google's home page like this right so this is what makes you see google home page like this which was sent by some computer sitting on the planet with this ip address now the basic idea of hosting your own website is number 1 get a computer yourself get a computer right so you already have a computer number two get a public ip address for that computer that is connected to internet somehow every computer connected to internet has an ip address even your computer as well right now you're watching this video from a computer or a, com a phone or whatever device but if you're connected on internet you have a public ip address of that computer which is communicating with this public ip address in this case my case is google's ip address but yeah so the step number two for hosting the site on online was to get a public IP address, right? Which you can also do. Number three is getting a domain for yourself. And this is optional. You can technically go ahead and visit IP addresses as well. But you see that in our case, it just redirected me to google.com. So it can be done, right? But yeah, number three is getting domain if you want to have a Easy, easy way to visit your website like google.com or codedam.com stuff like that and number four is setting up this this computer which you owned to respond something like this when you visit when somebody visits your site right now the idea where DigitalOcean fits in is that it allows you to create a droplet now what this droplet is is that it takes care of the first two things which I said that is getting a computer number one and number two, connecting it to internet, right? So when you create a droplet, what DigitalOcean would do is that it would somehow magically launch a computer for you and only you on the planet Earth, right? <laughs> Not really for you and only you. It kind of uses its own virtualization. But for the most part, you can think of that. And uh, once it gets that computer for you, it will give you an IP address for that computer as well. So you now have two things. Number one, you have a computer which is running somewhere on the planet, right? Not really somewhere, you can also choose your region, but I'm just gonna stick with somewhere for now. Somewhere on the planet, and it also has an associated IP address which can be used to reach out, reach out to that particular computer over the internet. That's the basic idea of creating a droplet. So yeah, I mean, that's it for this video. In the next ones, so you're gonna be actually seeing this was the theory, we'll now be seeing the practicality, the actual making use of the theory to actually create a droplet and see all that good stuff in action. So that's all for this video and I'll see you then in the next one.